Welcome to Epic Stock Due Diligence. Please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash Epic Stock DD. Thank you. Hey, y'all, back again, and I uh, wanted to talk about something, and it's called uh, Waiting for News. Now, one of the best things about running your own uh, penny stock broadcast is that you can say whatever you want to, and just like this. <laughs> right that's an australian didgeridoo and i bet you didn't see that one coming here on epic stock dd now yeah i am in front of a green screen today i'm not uh, uh you know not in the cayman islands but that's one thing i mean it's it's one of those things if you trade you got to have those milestones and if if you're able to get lucky then again with penny stock expect to lose it all but if you do get lucky and you are able to uh to take a break from that uh uh, from that uh, trading, you know, it's good to do that. But, yeah, something about news. Now, this is a trap that people often subject even the mo more experienced penny stock traders to. There will be a, uh, and this is just a hypothetical scenario, but, uh, for example, you look up a uh, penny stock that you might be interested in or you're researching or whatever on otcmarkets.com or similar, and we'll just use otcmarkets.com as an example. So you go to company info, and then right there, there's a phone number and an email address. So you call, you know, you or someone you know may call that phone number, and you talk to someone, and they say, oh, everything's coming down. We got press releases. We got all, these new, all this news coming. We got filings coming, what, you know, whatever. And that's a trap that a lot of people often fall victim to. And the reason being is that people assume that what's said, just because they called that number, because they called that phone number that was listed as, as you know, associated with that particular penny stock ticker symbol, just because they called that phone number, they assume that they're receiving accurate information. And the fact of the matter is, is that penny stocks, uh, like the penny stocks themselves, the management, the management of these companies are often just as sketchy and just as unpredictable. So just because someone promises the world and just because that someone may be the top dog at penny at fictitious penny stock company xyz doesn't mean anything so don't and this is a mistake that a lot of traders make like i said even experienced traders often fall into that trap and think oh okay well you know i personally called and i spoke with joe bob as well and joe bob told me the same thing that Joe Bob told these other people in the forums, so it must be true. No. Assume everything is false. Even if it comes out in a written PR, and especially if it's a verbal claim, because verbal claims hold next to no weight in any type of environment, especially when you're dealing with penny stock speculation. So uh, just, a, uh, just another word of wisdom, some words of wisdom from me, uh, the penny stock entertainer, and again, always, and I mean always, expect to lose a hundred percent of every penny stock investment. And it's often not an investment, it's often a trade. And you can watch my other video, what's the difference between a penny stock trade and a penny stock investment? Regardless of what it may be deemed, it's an opportunity to lose a hundred percent. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't subscribed already, I strongly encourage you to do so. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash epicstockdd, and share this video with others. And also check out my book if you want to. It's, the, uh, it's entitled The Penny Stock Perfectionist. It's available on the Apple iTunes Store. You can go to the main page of epicstockdd, youtube.com forward slash epicstockdd. And my picture up there of me in front of the, in front of the bull on Broadway up in that uh, fine city of New York. It says down in the bottom right, it says buy my book. So feel free to check that out. And actually, and I'm not sure, um, this is something that I've, I've received uh, several private messages about. People saying, oh, I don't have an iPad. Can I read your book? I think that Apple, and I'm not sure, check this with Apple, but I think that Apple may have enabled reading of these books uh, on a computer. I don't know if it has to be an Apple computer 
or if you might be able to do it through iTunes on Windows. But check that out. If you, if you don't have an iPad and you want to buy my book, check that out with Apple first. Make sure it's compatible with your hardware. But uh, if it is indeed available to be read on other devices, that's great. Because when I first wrote this book, I, I didn't really realize that I would be limited only to iPad owners. But I think they may be opening that up to more uh, devices. So check that out. But anyway, you don't have to buy my book. I'm just saying that because I, I wrote the book <laughs> and I'm trying to sell it. But ultimately, I'm just here to entertain. And I appreciate your viewership. And again, subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and any of my videos with others. And y'all have a good day.